<laughs> Your next comic came here all the way from Cincinnati. He came all the way from Cincinnati? He came all the way from Cincinnati, everybody. <laughs> You're gonna love him. Give a big round of applause for Phil Pointer. Don't keep it going, let him hear it. Keep it going for yourselves. Thank you for coming out. Hey, like you said, my name is Phil Pointer. Uh, tell you a little bit about me. I did come all the way from Cincinnati. I used Google Maps to get here. I did. I used it. I'm not sure if I like it. You know? Because I think Google Maps is trying to get me lynched. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, whenever I'm on my way to a show, it's usually early in the day. It's like 5, 6 p.m. Google takes me over all the safe highways and byways where if something happens, I think I'll be okay. You know? But after a show, when it's like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, can Google take me over all them same safe ways? Oh, heck you know. <laughs> no, Google takes me over some old backwoods, tales from the dark side, wrong turn, looking at shit. <laughs> Somewhere every turn it tells me to make, I'm just like, yep, they're gonna find a body right there. <laughs> It's gonna be a jogger with a dog. It's gonna be a jogger with a dog on law and order. <laughs> Google Maps likes to take me through sundown towns. Where if you don't know what that is, sundown town is a place where it's not safe for black people to be outside after dark. And it's also a place that Google Maps thinks my black ass needs to drive through one in the fucking morning. <laughs> It's taking me on a back road past a property with a confederate flag painted on the barn and a lit cross in the front yard. And I'm not even talking about like a cross on fire. That would have been disturbing enough. No, they built the cross and put lights in it. So you could tell the hate was always burning at that particular property. I'm just saying I think Google Maps is trying to get me killed. That's all I'm saying. Either that, or the algorithm to find directions was written by a couple of douchebags who like taking people out of their way. They're just like, hey dude, remember last time a dude was kind of trying to get from Cincinnati to Bloomington and we took his ass through Detroit? <laughs> I think we can top that. <laughs> I'm married and I was in a car with some other comedian friends of mine. And I sent my wife a text message to say, hey, on the way to the show, I love you. Some idiot cuts us off, and it really shook me up, because it made me realize I don't want to die in an accident like that. Because I don't want the police formulating opinions of me based on my text messages. I mean, it's a real 50-50 shot what you'll get with my silly ass. But <laughs> yeah. like they look at my phone that day, they're like, oh, this guy loves his wife. Good for him. What if it was a day I was sending an asshole message to a friend of mine? You know, just, well, if the defense doesn't do well this season, I'll suck your dick and shit out babies. <laughs> Cops are looking at my phone going, well, this guy does not know how biology works at all. <laughs> I think you may be one of those anti-vaxxers. <laughs> Look, I know we all have things we want to hide about ourselves, things we don't want people to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I hope no one finds out that I secretly like show tunes. <laughs> oh, I hope no one finds out that the only way I can come is with a Make America Great Again hat on. <laughs> or, oh, I hope no one finds out that I secretly like Nickelback. You know, horrible shit. <laughs> I tell y'all what, though, that day got me to change my life. It did. I live every day like I'm preparing to die. Oh, yeah. Like I'm throwing away incriminating materials. I'm wiping hard drives and playlists clean every day. Like, did you all know how much I spent this month alone on Make America Great Again hats? Hey, it's expensive to maintain a healthy sex life, okay? I'm Philip Porter. I love y'all. Bye.